Hello you wonderful people, HH Aviation here and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. So, recently I've been flying around with a few of my mates in Microsoft Flight Sim, a few of the community, and I've noticed not a lot of people know how to use Simbri for getting a bit confused on it, so I thought I'd make a tutorial, help all of you out, and if you have any questions, let me in the comments. So, let's get into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what you're going to want to do is come to the link in the description. We'll bring you to a page like this click create new flight and as you can see it brings me to a page like this dispatch options as you can see it says high server load at the moment don't worry that should not be there when you're there and if it is it does not affect any of this process so that is completely fine right so as you can see you may be seeing a lot of blanks at the moment and this may be very overwhelming but do not fear that's not going to uh, bother you at all so to show you what to do what you're going to want to do is just go to the airline initially and if you're flying someone like British Airways find out their airline iCal code which in this instance is BAW if you're flying international or shuttle SHT if you're flying domestic so I'm flying international for the purpose of this video so I'll click BAW you you'll type it in uh, if you already have it you'd save data flight number now this can be uh, a mixture of numbers and letters just numbers and it but it cannot be just letters so for example you could do BAW 1 2 Alpha Foxtrot you could do British Airways 213 you could do British Airways 23 Foxtrot Chango it's completely up to you whatever for you feel will flow off the tongue if you're on an ATC network for example then you're going to want to do your depart, that's your departure airport, find out the airport ICAL. So for example Heathrow, because I'm departing for Heathrow, it'd be E-G-L-L. Okay, next one for the arrival, same situation, find out the arrival airport's ICAL. So for example Barcelona would be L-E-B-L. -L. As you can see it did some like generating as you may or may not have seen and it's already filled in the best departure runway, the best arrival runway, climb profile and everything like that is auto, you don't need to mess around with any, anything like that, passengers is auto. You can, you can have a little play around with that but in order to choose how many passengers you want you're going to have to first select your aircraft type. So go to the airframe and for example for the purpose of the video I'm going to choose the A20neo and so I click that and as you can see it comes up with the climb profile, the cruise profile, the descent, everything like that has now been completely filled in as well. It gives you a route based on your departure. So for example, mine would be the Maxi 1 Foxtrot departure of 27 right and the Puma 1 X-ray uh, arrival on runway 02 in Barcelona. But I will show you how to do that, uh, view that in just a second. If you don't like that route, there's some suggested routes here that you can click and it will change all the route for you. It won't change it too drastically but it will also change the route for you. Okay, so if you have a certain registration that you want, what you do is you just go to registration, take that out and put the certain one that you want. So for example, I would do, I don't know, G-B-U-C-F. That's not an actual registration of an aircraft, I don't believe, but that's just an example. Now, if you're flying on VATSIM or IVAO and you go to check the ATIS and it actually before you file your flight plan, they go, yeah, we're departing off 09 left. That's no worries at all. What you do is departure runway, click it, 09 left. And then do you wish to automatically set new SIDs just stars for these runways? Click yes. And as you can see, it's now just the Maxit departure and it's now changed to 09 left. Same for the same principle for the arrival. For example, let's say it was 25 left in Barcelona. We'll click 25 left. Yes. And now it's the Roken arrival instead. Once you've done that, selected the time you want to depart, depart and everything like that in Zulu, you then click generate flight. Click yes, and then it will start to generate the flight. And I will show you once this is generated what to do. Okay, so as you can see, um, it's now generated OFP summary. You would need to generate it in order to get all of this. Uh, make sure you generate it, uh, that's a key part of this. It shows you your cruise level 370, it shows you your destination, your, orig your starting airport, your aircraft, your flight number, your airline, the date, the time you want to depart, airtime, the amount of fuel you're going to need, and your total takeoff weight. It also shows you your routing. 
But if you want a more detailed version of that, scroll down to the paperwork preview. You see the OFP here. What you want to do is that it will show you your flight steps, for example, 370. And if you scroll down, it shows you your fuel, block fuel, so 5612, same as here, 5612. Anyways, continue scrolling down for the routing. It will show you your alternative routing, but it shows you your main routing here, as you can see. As you can see, Heathrow, 09 left, direct max it. And then it shows you all the waypoints, direct EVPOC, etc. And then Barcelona, 25 left. So if you, if you generate your flight plan, and then you're sat there in your aircraft going, hold on. What runway was I arriving? What runway was I taking off? Just scroll down here, and as you can see, 09 left or 25 left. Now, once you're okay with all of that, you've got another way you can view it. So, for example, print slash view PDF. If you click that, it'll bring you to a page like this, and you can get it all in a PDF view. Same process, EGLL, everything is the same. So, it would just be this paper version here, but on a PDF. So yeah, it's honestly up to you what way you want to view it, whether you want to view it like this and then have the op and then have this down here as well so to give you both options and you can see the map here. Or if you want to um, go onto the PDF version. Personally, I choose this version just because then I can see the block view a lot quicker, the airtime and the route that is going to come down, etc. Just because I like seeing that. So if you're on IVAO or VATSIM, you may want to download your flight plan for the purpose of uploading it into vPilot or pre-filing it on the network. So what you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page and as you can see you've got IVAO is down the bottom here, sorry it's been a long time, IVAO pre-file and vPilot download or you can file it onto the VATSIM pre-file website as well. If you want to see a video on how to pre-file your flight plans or upload your flight plans from SimBrief onto your ATC network then let me know down in the comments I'll be more than happy to do that for you. So as you can see you've got loads of different versions that you can choose here to download Aerosoft, Airbus etc etc um, but obviously if you're using vPilot then here's the download and if you're using IVAO then here's the profile. But yeah that's pretty much the basis of the video that uh, I've showed you all how to view majority of the stuff on the uh, routing that I do, I've showed you my personal preference and everything like that. If this has been helpful let me know in the comments and if you want to see a video on how to pre-file it onto your chosen ATC network um, or networks I should say then let me know as well. So yeah you've got the choice really if you want to just get the basics of viewing it you know everything like that. And with SimBrief as well another great thing I forgot to mention is it will auto generate into your aircraft as well like the flight plan like for example on the Flyby Wire A320 Neo and the 787-10 with the heavy division mod and loads of other aircraft but that really depends on the aircraft that's not guaranteed in every single aircraft just because some aren't that highly developed but as you can see yeah you've got the choice between the PDF this version and yeah that's pretty much all if the, if you need any help then just leave a comment I'm more than happy to help you that's what I'm here to do help teach and enjoy the experience with you all so let me know what you need um, and yeah I will see you all in the next video. If you want a video on how to upload it into the ATC networks like Hub, like vPilot or the IBA website, then let me know. But for now, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.